Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to multiply rational expressions. And remember when multiplying, all we're going to do is multiply square to crash, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. A couple things to remember is our rules of exponents. Remember when multiplying uh, variables with the same base, we're going to add their exponents. And then when we divide, we subtract the exponents. So as I multiply across over here, I have 48 and there's times 1, so I'll just be left with the 48. Now I have x to the fifth times x squared. So rather than just kind of showing this step by step, since we've already gone over the rules of exponents, remember x to the fifth times x squared is going to leave us with x to the seventh. And y cubed times y is going to leave us with y to the fourth. Then when I multiply my denominators, well, I'm just going to have a 6. Then I have x cubed times any, just x cubed. And then I have y to the fourth times y squared is going to remember adding them, which will be y to the sixth. Now I need to divide. So when dealing with numbers, you're just dealing with regular division. 48 divided by 6 is going to be not 8. Um, well, actually, it, it will be 8, but it will be 8 over the 1. So you can say 8 over 1. You can say that 6 divides into 48 8 times. Now x to the 7th divided by x cubed, remember, you're going to subtract them. So 7 minus 3 is going to be um, positive 4. Since it's positive, it goes up in the numerator. And let's go and take a look at, again, remembering this. y to the 4 minus 6 would be y to the negative second. But since it's negative, to make it positive, we need to put it in the denominator. So we rewrite it as a positive exponent in the denominator. Then with our 4, we don't need to write the 1 in there. Or the one in there. So our final answer is going to be 8x to the 4th divided by y squared. Thanks.